So I am kind of a day late. I wanted to explain my experience and my connection with The Little Mermaid. And it all started with, actually, Ariel was the first character I ever cosplayed. Um, and she was the first princess that I ever really was. And not to mention, she's also my favorite princess. So that's a nice little bonus for you. But Ariel is my favorite because I love red hair, first off. And second off, um, she was a rebel. And she's a mermaid, okay? Like, if you're a mermaid, you, you've got it. You know, that's the coolest part. The summer before my senior year, um, I was downtown. I was uh, kind of cosplaying a little bit Ariel. And um, I sang her song, Part of Your World. And a mom asked me if I would surprise her kid, um, you know, dresses a mermaid next year, um, a whole year later. And so I actually ended up not being able to do it. And I had one of my friends go do it for me. And then that's kind of what started my whole princess company. Of course, we would abide by the Disney copyright laws, which are super big. So any of you that want to do princess parties or anything like that, you must abide by those laws um, because they are Disney owned characters. But what I did was, is um, you know, it was because of my inspiration from Little Mermaid and Ariel being my favorite, which is really what started my princess company, which started the Mean Girls parody, which now has me on YouTube. So thank you, The Little Mermaid, for being made 26 years ago. So what I decided to do for you guys is um, like an acapella version of me singing The Little Mermaid. An acapella version of me singing Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid, which is one of my all-time favorite songs to sing. I can sing that song in my sleep. It's my favorite. Um, it's probably going to be a little loud because I'm in a bathroom, but whatever. Acoustics are great. Why don't you think my collection's complete? Why don't you think I'm the girl? girl who has everything. Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, well sure, she's got everything. And I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want to think I'm a boss? I've got 20, <laughs> but who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's the word again? Oh, street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of. and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word? Burn, when's it my turn? When I love, love to explore that shore of the above. Out of the Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen to you before, but the cold weather 
literally shut off my vo vocal cords. Like, I couldn't even sing. I was like... And so, yeah, that was, it was not fun. It was not fun. So, yeah, that's that. Um, if you guys like my singing, um, I am currently in the works of creating an EP and also a full-length album, which is going to come out this next year around my 21st birthday. So, um, more details to come soon. Things are still up in the air, and I still have, like, a thousand more songs to record. Um, but I already have a lot planned out. So, if you guys like my stuff, you can go to ReverbNation.com slash Mackenzie Lynn. I work in, with an amazing producer. Check me out then and buy my album when I release it on iTunes because that'd be really cool if you did. If you can't tell, I have a musical theater background, but now I'm doing pop music and like pop alternative and pop electronic and stuff like that. So it's super duper fun. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, send me your Ariel pictures. If you cosplay as Ariel, she's the best. She's my favorite. What is your favorite part about The Little Mermaid or your favorite part from the movie? I would say probably my favorite part, what I, what I loved most about The Little Mermaid as a kid was when she lost her voice and how she was dealing with that. I was like, mmm, that sucks. I would hate to have that problem because I'm a talker and I love to sing. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so much and happy birthday to the Little Mermaid. Woo!